my eyes killing me but anyway what's up guys how you doing i wanted to make this video real brief this is about joe rogan joe rogan is in hot water wow is it going down people have a lot to say about the situation and here on the lockout we have our own opinion just like everybody else we entitled to that right are we but there's been a lot of debate on should he had apologized or not mm, we're gonna get into all that but before we get into that i want you to recall and remember some things in life you know I was debating on should I make this video or not or talk about this here at hand because I seen other people talk about it when I already had the the images picked out I had and I was like ah oh, he spoke about it but we different over here on the log out you heard we do it with a little more special sauce like tch, tch, tch. so let's get to it Joe Rogan and the things that I found disrespectful about this situation. The Joe Rogan experience. The Joe Rogan experience. The Joe Rogan experience. Must we continue? <laughs> I always saw that. The Joe Rogan experience. And it drove me like, yo, they just didn't do that, bro. Because I saw it like, The Joe Rogan experience. It's cool. Like, the whole podcasting thing is cool. But growing up as a youngin, I was always told, like, and I'm going to break down to you the ignorance of it. But I'm not going to fully break it down. Like, you got to read between the lines with it because we're we dealing with time here. We could only disrespect ourselves. Black and brown, we could disrespect us. You can't disrespect us. What I feel that you shouldn't be doing that's disrespectful towards my people, I could do it. Nobody will see nothing wrong with it. Keep in mind, hate, racism, doesn't just come from other people and other nationalities. It comes from within sometimes. There's some that don't like their own. But I oh, it always bothered me when I saw that because we was brought up, you know, even the comments, if you think we was brought up wrong or right, that a white man can't do that. You can't just put that up there. The Joe Rogan experience. And I'm going to point something out to you that nobody's talking about. Why is that still up? Why after when you got off from the movie theater with your boy and you said, oh, we snap, it's like we landed in Planet of the Apes for real. What? The Joe Rogan experience. You know what's so crazy and what bothers me? That they won't do nothing to Joe Rogan, right? Although he's went through a little shakeup. But we'll talk about something and it'll be like... We interrupt this program. Yo, what happened to war? Yeah, he's no longer here. Because he says something about what? the Joe Rogan experience. It's crazy, though, my dude, right? You ever saw that? Yo, I saw that a lot come up on the big TV screen. Like, what? The Joe Rogan experience. I'm like, yo, that's disrespectful, right? And I know that you're probably saying... Only a person that's thinking like that way will see that disrespectful. Nah, I didn't see that. I was taught like, you know, and I know I was taught wrong because I'm one that always preaches you can't blame a whole group of people for what a few individuals did. So let's keep that in mind. I'm still the same dude, right? But it's something about me looking at somebody in a comedian and hearing certain jokes that was already bothering me. This is facts. And now that it all blew up, it's like, wow, I was right. It bothered me for a reason. It's crazy because we all got jokes in one way or another. 
But sometimes we don't see them that serious up to when it's a dude that's super light skinned. So this should be like a, a, a wake up experience for a lot of us. Me personally, although I used the word for years and we got like a super pass to use it in our hood, especially Puerto Ricans of my complexion and Puerto Ricans, period. Uh, so don't let people lie to you. Puerto Ricans use it 24 hours a day, or even the little kids in their family. Facts. And they don't mean it in that context. People know what they mean. But when you put out there so hard, like Joe put it in that in that form and break it down, like we just finished watching a movie and I felt like I was really in Planet of the Apes or whatever. It, 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 you, you took it to a whole nother level. You took it to a level where you even had me going to look up the word in the dictionary again. Like, let me make sure, right? And you'd be surprised what you find. Sad, bro. It's always sad. But check this out. We're going to get into that and a whole lot more today here on The Lockout because uh, quiet is kept. Do you think Joe Rogan is really sorry about that? Or he's looking at himself like, bro, I don't care. Me personally, I don't think that nothing is... Uh, he got taken out from a few places. Uh, Spotify, he was banned. They said that over on 70 different episodes, he used the word. Now, my people, this is all I'm saying. I'm a Joe Rogan fan. I Listen, I love Joe Rogan, man. But it's not a surprise to me, you know. And I don't say I love Joe Rogan the man. I, I watched him in Fear Factor. I watched him in a lot of things, right? But as time went on, I started noticing this pattern of like, is he or is he not, right? But I think that they, nah, bro. You just can't, you got to take a look at the context that he was talking about it in. Unless you're one of those people and leave in the comments or you're one of those people that you feel that he can never use the word like him because it's Joe Rogan. I don't know. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to nobody. I'm asking a question. Some of us feel that way, that nobody could use it at all. But what's sad to me is like, we use it all day amongst each other. What makes that okay? I don't know. That's just weird, super weird, right? So there's this dude, the computer guy, and he went on to talk on his show, and he broke down a few things that, why well, he felt about it, but I felt like kind of he was putting like his foot in his, I don't know, you check out some of it if you want. Check it out. Listen to this dude. At AmericanEagle.com. We're going to get to it right now. Hold on. That wasn't, that wasn't part of it at all. <laughs> right here. It out of his mind um and they went to a movie theater in an african-american neighborhood to go see planet of the apes and he made not such a great comment about it uh now spotify one of the biggest streaming services in the world is under intense pressure because it is the exclusive distributor of now he's not saying nothing that we don't already know but he went on in this part over here and this is what was some of it I was thinking about and I was like bro this could have been a whole lot different we're gonna get into the hot water situation because this content right here and this video, if you watch all the way to the end, it all falls right into play with what's really going on in the world. Joe Rogan is in hot water. And there's a lot of better things and a lot of people that we could troll on, right? And I'm not saying I'm trolling on Joe Rogan, but besides our own people. Yeah, if you want to do things for views, go over there. They'll give you millions of views, my guy. We got to stop being the destroyers of our own or people in general, right? Not just black or brown people in general. You have a lot of African-American males in the inner city of Baltimore. They do something. I'm not going to say dumb. I am not going to say dumb. They make a decision when they are 17 or 18 years old, and that lands them in jail for a number of years. Duh. Now check this out. Now this is not Joe Rogan speaking. I'm going to spell out his name for you so people pronounce it a whole lot of ways. It's just three letters. E-L-I, the computer guy, right? I pronounced it like two times. Somebody told me that's not the pronunciation. Well, you pronounce it before you start trying to uh, uh, troll me. So I spelled it for you. Punch it in. Find him. And you could troll him. He has 
4 million subs and it gets millions of views in a day. <laughs> Facts. And you could go over there and learn something at the same time. He talks about a lot of things. But since you wanna, you're trolling people and y'all getting at each other, and y'all not even up. <laughs> Facts. Go troll them. Go troll them. <laughs> One of the big problems is once they get out of jail, a lot of times they cannot get jobs, and they do essentially get canceled out of society because basically society and a lot of people will not get past whatever they did at 17 years old. They did something at 17 or 18. They're now 35, and literally this is following them to the grave. Actually... Uh, uh, some things follow you to the grave and some things don't. My opinion on that is that you get charged with doing something at 17, 18 years old. You come out, you get a second opportunity at life and to do things over and be a better man. And some of us continue to come out and still be the same individual and do the same things that we did when we went in in the first place. So nobody wants us around. Facts. I realized my, caf my uh, defects of character and my people's. Right? Of course, there's a better way. There's a whole bunch of better ways. I'm showing you a better way as I'm talking to you, but you just don't see it because your vision may not see that far. And I'm not talking about probably you as a good individual. I'm talking in general, right? So, uh, I don't know. Joe Rogan apologizes, guys. Check it out. Now, do you accept Joe Rogan's apology as a man? He, he apologized for using the word. I want you to leave in the comments. Just You don't got to get crazy and retype in the word or you no know, spell it like this spell it like that you know what we're talking about leave in the comments if you accept his apology he said it on video he apologized in video and i think that that goes a long way but i don't know if it's enough right because more and more things keep coming out and i just pointed out to you like, what? why nobody see that wrong why after all that you still got that playing in the beginning of all your episodes, that could be haunting to some people that that you you that the word traumatizes them. Facts. And it says, "Okay, take me to this one." And the guy goes, "Okay." I goes, "That in a good neighborhood?" He's like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah." Guy barely speaks English. He takes us there. We get out and we're giggling. Oh, we're gonna see Planet of the Apes. We walk into Planet of the Apes. It's crazy. We walked into Africa, dude. We we. <laughs> That 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 whole thing was crazy. He said we walked in the door, we walked in there, and there was no white people. So I get it. Look, a lot of people are gonna be mad about that. Hold on a second. This thing is not poor. And it says, okay, take me to this one. And the guy goes, okay. I goes, that in a good neighborhood? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guy barely speaks English. He takes us there. We get out and we're giggling. Oh, we're going to see Planet of the Apes. We walk into Planet of the Apes. <laughs> we walked into Africa, dude. We, we, we walked in the door and there was no white people. Wow. Now, at that point, uh, we walked in the door and, and there was no white people. We walked right into... You know what? I, I'm going to keep it real, bro. Like, I've seen a lot of people say and joke with things like that in, in, my, in my coming up in the world. But I guess, I guess everyone deemed like it's okay because it wasn't a white person. It was always a black or a brown brother that talked about it in that way. Even... Black brothers, I heard them say things like that. Probably not that same exact form and fat, like put in that same fashion. But I seen people say, yo, we went to Jamaica Ave and when we popped out, we was like really in Jamaica. Like, and they meant Jamaica Ave, meaning that there was, I, I seen the same scenario played out, but the only difference was that it wasn't a white dude that said it. And everyone seemed like it was okay. I think that what makes it just that much worse, and of course, hey, don't get me wrong, I definitely get it. There's definitely something wrong with the tone, the the delivery, everything, right? 
uh, uh, but I think 2022, what makes it just that much worse is, is the internet is the thing about, uh, reposting it, about hearing it again, about people talking, opening the window of, of conversation for it. Right. And everyone mm -hmm. voicing their different opinions. And as the people that is really bothering are just going bananas and, and everybody's up in an uproar because it's Joe Rogan, though. And I'm in no way coming in his defense. But I also understand that people love to root for you when you're down and when you up. Like, he's this is the top podcasting dude. And, of course, a lot of people were waiting for his downfall. That's just something for you to think about because I have my own things to say about it. And I said it. I find it wrong. And I find that whole beginning of the podcast that needs to be taken down. If you're banning him from all these places and he can no longer do A, B, and C, then, or not even banning him, because look, nobody's going to ban him. Nobody's going to cancel him. He's going to, that's going to pass. As sad as it may be, that's going to pass. And tomorrow, the next days, we're going to move on to somebody else that effed up in life. Somebody else that people could talk about. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that's going to be put in the back burner but do I really think he sincerely apologized? No, I, I honestly believe that he thinks that what he did was it was nothing absolutely wrong with that. He was just explaining something to his, I guess, his friends or whoever he was talking to. And, and it's, you know, he looks at it, they look at it like this is a fact, you know, or, or not only that, or like it's comedy, right? Or I was joking or whatever. I was painting a picture saying, man, you painted it too hard, you know, and you don't see it. Probably because it's not you, right? So basically, that's that with the Joe Rogan situation. I wanted you to leave in the comments how you felt about that and what you think about that. Uh, you know, and now we're going to get into the situation with the hot water, right? Because I look at it like this. Joe Rogan, uh, you want to apologize to people. You want to help people. Uh, uh, you got a big voice, right? Won't you help these ladies out over here? I'm about to show you Joe Rogan. So there's a building in a Queens, right, uh, by Beach Channel Drive that is didn't have hot water for months already. I think since November, some of these ladies and whole families talk about how they was going to take showers in other people's apartments and family and friends and having to fill up a bucket with water, with some hot water and having to do it like six or seven different times just to clean out their legs, right? And it's always a sad situation. We all know how important hot water could be. So I broke down the Joe Rogan situation. Joe Rogan and hot water, there's the whole situation. To me, I look at it like this. Joe Rogan, won't you use your voice to help these people? Like, And I get it, right? Because you can't help everybody. But I look at it like it's a good deed. Look, you're already in hot water as it is. And not only with blacks in the world... With people in general, a lot of people don't like Joe Rogan because of what he talks about. Again, I looked at it like he effed up big time, but I did like his show. I'm not going to front and act like I never listened. I never tuned in. I do uh, a lot of percent of the time. <laughs> With that being said, check this out. So the judge caused the lack of hot water in Queens. New York City housing building since November, a crime. That is a crime, leaving people without hot water. That was the message from a Queens housing court judge outraged by the agency failing to provide hot water to as many as 300 tenants in the Far Rockaway apartment buildings. Since November, it is super sad. If this was a private landlord, he, the landlord, would be in jail by now. Judge said, during a January 20th, 20th hearing, he would have been jailed by now and paid fines that would have been $500 per day. As a city-run agency, the New York City Housing Authority is not eligible for the same penalties as private landlords who neglects 
It's properties and tenants. It's sad. These laws need to change. Why is your crime shield this way? The judge asked the lawyer. Huh. New York City Housing Authority is dropping the ball big time here. That's sad. Thousands of tenants have filed a petition seeking to force the New York City Housing Authority to make repairs at the 174 unit building on Beach Channel Drive and Beach 74 Street. This is a dead this is the dead of winter, said Robinson. We need this corrected. We need some attention to fix this. It doesn't make any sense to me, she said. I have to go to a hotel to take a decent shower. But some tenants can't afford a hotel room. Don't have other homes to visit for a warm shower or are disabled. Wow. The president of the resident council is a 62-year-old lady. They heat water on the stove, carry it to the tub, and use it to bathe. It's been affecting us really bad, she said. There's a lady is 62 years old, somewhere in their 70s, 80s, 90s. It's a sad situation, man. It's super sad. I want you to leave in the comments what you think about that. So if you hit Joe Rogan with anything that went on, show him that. Maybe he'll listen to you and maybe he'll help them. Maybe he'll help a black or Latino brother and sister, right? Or a whole bunch of them, right? Besides just looking at them uh, uh, as apes. That's crazy and it's sad, right?